in this problem, we're given a function f uh, x, y, and z equals 2x minus y, comma, y minus z. And we want to determine whether or not f is linear, affine linear, or neither. And after that, we want to describe what the level set of f equals 0 looks like. So first off, recall that a function into Rn where Rn is greater than 1 is linear if it's linear in each component function. So the two component functions we're given are f1 is 2x minus y and f2 is, a, is y minus z. And keep in mind that these are both functions from r3 to r. And well, you can see right away that this is just, well, all of our terms have degree 1 and there's no constant term. So it's going to be linear. Also, if you've seen some linear algebra, you can see that f itself is given by a matrix, such that f of x, y, z is let's see, 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, applied to x, y, z. But you don't need that. It's just convenient terminology, and it shows right away that the function f is linear. OK, so now that we have that, we want to describe the set of points x, y, z, where f equals 0. So if f equals 0, then each of its component functions has to equal 0 as well. So that gives us 2x equals y and y equals z. OK, so we've described it, but we can do a little bit better. We can actually give an explicit description of this set. So it's a set of points so x, y, z in R3 such that 2x equals y. And since x equal, 2x equals y and y equals z, we have that's also equal to z. And we can replace these three variables with one variable, actually. And this is just going to be equal to the set of points t, 2t, 2t, where t is a real number. So th this is a line through the origin in R3. And that's it.